John Rahil. I know you've got Gabriel Ainsa in there somewhere. Nah, I'm gonna <laughs> go with Sergio Romero in goal. Best then number two in the world. Emmy. Then at the back, <laughs> at the back, I'm gonna put Rafael de Silva. Oof. Like when you look at this guy, he's not built whatsoever to be a Premier League footballer. But from I think for Man United, he was immense. He won the lot with them. Very good player going forward. So I put him for, for a five-side game. I think he'd be perfect up and down. And then I'm gonna say Fred. The, I'm not just saying it because it's Man United. It just sounds like a United Six Society for I South think, America. I, 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 I'll imagine honest, picking, imagine think, picking Fred over Douglas Luiz. What, <laughs> that's what that's what Brazil do. They pick Fred over Douglas Luiz. No, they haven't. Yes, they do. Douglas Luiz starts over Fred. No, in what in in pre in uh, the international friendlies against Japan. I don't think anyone's gonna believe your stats after last time, mate. <laughs> No, I, I, I miscalculated that one for this one. I can that was a big miscalculation. Back. You said Emmy Martinez was capped, but he's never played for the first team. No, but yeah, he, he, was so, <laughs> he said he's so confidently like Emmy Martinez has played about 20 games for Argentina. <laughs> yeah, so um, um, three more. I'm going to say Coutinho's going to have to go in there. Mm. Um, as much as I hate Liverpool mm. with uh, all my heart and passion and everything, but I think Coutinho is one of them players you love watching. He's a brilliant player. Um, for what he did in the Premier League. And obviously, he demonstrated last season as well at Bayern Munich. Two more, I'm going to say. It's a tough one. I'm going to have to say Aguero. Brilliant player. Done, obviously, he's probably made City who they are. He's City's biggest ever legend. Um, and then my last player, I'm going to say Diego Forlan. Yes. Purely for, them, purely, purely for them two goals he scored at Anfield. Literally just for that. He, he's, he's had a chance for him just for them two goals he scored at Anfield. We got we got uh, Romero, we got Rafael, we got Fred, we got Coutinho, and we got yeah we got Aguero and we got Diego Forlan. And his points have been out. So Fred hasn't Fred hasn't been called up since like 2018 or something. Fred hasn't what? Yes, he has. Man, stop lying. Uh, <laughs> Real don't do He's this got to a salipedia up, man. He's got like, a salipedia up, man. Read the headline. Read the headline. Fred has nah. given up on Brazil. Call. I don't believe that. Samba. I don't believe that. Scorebot, Samba bot, whatever it is. Samba bot. Are they reliable? Off, mate. Honestly, he's not. He's not played for Brazil ever since like ages, man. <laughs> so right, that doesn't make sense. Last, you just said he hasn't played for Brazil <laughs> since ever in ages. <laughs> he's, all right. His his last call up right was in the 2018 World Cup and he didn't even play. So, so, so he was Fred just like went to the Fred went to the World yeah, Cup. Has, David, has, has Douglas Luiz been to a World Cup? The closest he's been to the World Cup man is watching it on his TV at home. He was 16 <laughs> at the time. So, yeah, so uh, Fred, uh, let me find out the last time Fred played for his career. Wait, so Douglas Luiz is 18 then, if he was 16 at the time. What, two years ago? Three, two and a half he's years like ago? He's like 20, 21, isn't he? Oh, he's, yeah, he's 21, I think. Yeah, Sal's yeah, probably made it. You know, you can't trust any reason. facts that come out of this guy's mouth. If oh, he yeah. says Sal, he says it's 100% fact, he knows it's 90% a lie. I'm surprised he hasn't said that Douglas Luiz won the World Cup with them as well. <laughs> Back in 2002. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> he was there with Ratinho, Ronaldo, Kaka, everyone. All right, so Fred's last cap was in 2018. And Douglas Luiz starts for the team. So that just proves that. You know what it is? Everyone thinks that they're a baller until somebody like Douglas Luiz comes along. Oh my God. So as would say, as Rahil would say, keep, keep it moving. Uh, well, what happened to Douglas Luiz at Old Trafford? He got turned by Pogba and he had to file him. Nah, it wasn't a foul. It wasn't, it wasn't a foul. It was a foul. He just chopped his leg. Didn't get any of the balls. No, no. It wasn't a foul, bro. That's fine. Even Douglas, when Douglas Luiz posted days ago, it, over it, he posted it on his Twitter account about it. And he put... Yeah, but I could well, post like a pig flying, but it doesn't mean it's true. Oh, no. <laughs> he goes, I, I'll translate it because I look, I've he's even gone to search for the truth. Nah, you know, I don't, I don't trust Sally like with his translations. Man, goes, I can't fax wrong. He's no, 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 like right I'll now. I'll translate it. I'll translate it. He says, I see this video. I can't believe it was a penalty. I always root for fairer football with fewer mistakes, but then I stop and see these types of moves. If we have VAR to help, let's start using it correctly. This, these mistakes can dis- define the future of clubs. He just got a hiding from Dean Smith in the wait, changing room. Wait, hold on, room. hold on. Uh, wait, Dean Smith just went in on him. I mean, it's so clear. What's it? What's it? What, what's it? Is, isn't he also a Villa player? The fact that they managed to it's get so uh, a goal disallowed <laughs> against them. 